this exhibit is about digital rights management in the real world of wearable computing and augmented reality. Seat Sale examines what happens when you take the concept of software licensing and apply it to the real world. But the real underlying inquiry addresses intellectual property and wearable computing. Totally different. It's, 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 it's a very, very different time for us. <laughs> Steve Mann was uh, building wearable computers in high school. And I think it's it's perfectly good example that here's a young man that brought with him an idea that was very much on the lunatic fringe, was very much something that people thought, well, this is kind of weird and it doesn't really make sense. And when he arrived here, a lot of people sort of said, wow, this is very interesting, and faculty became more interested, and he, and it's a, I think it's probably one of the best examples we have of where somebody brought with them an extraordinarily interesting seed. And then it sort of, you know, it grew. And there are many people now, so-called cyborgs in the media lab, and uh, people working on wearable computers all over the place. What I've got is I've got a computer screen in my glasses. I've been experimenting with uh, something, uh, what you might call um, wearable computing or personal you know, personal computing. The real thing here is that it replaces a lot of the normal things that we carry, such as camcorder, uh, still camera, um, Walkman, um, pager, cell phone. All of those personal electronics items are subsumed into a single apparatus because, you know, I have a camera built into the glasses so that as I look around, the algorithm that I've developed seamlessly stitches multiple pictures together and makes them into an image composite, something I call painting with looks. All you can see is a pair of sunglasses, but his computer is tucked into his pocket. The frame fitted with a miniature camera. His screen is projected directly onto his retina. If Steve Mann is concerned about preserving a sense of community, it's because he sees what's coming, a wave that's about to break over our society. Computers, wireless communicators, they're no longer just technology, but fashion accessories. As we step out into the future, our wearables in place, our chips implanted within us. Will this new world swallow us up, stripping us of autonomy and privacy? Or will it free us in ways we can't imagine? As a sculptor, I speak to the post-cyborg era and a return to the primordial elements, such as earth, water, air, and fire.